Okay, hello everybody. If you want, we can start with a prayer invoking uh, especially St. Joseph today that is March 19 and we are blessed to be together with uh, our patron, the patron of Regnum Christi St. Joseph, the patron also of the Universal Church. So we do this in the name of the Holy Trinity, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and in kingdom and bend by your love. Send for your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In that same spirit, help us to know what is truly right and always rejoice in his consolation. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ our King, thy kingdom come, Mary, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I'm very happy that we are together this, this day together to, to share with you a little bit of what we are doing. I think um, you are all, if I'm not mistaken, section directors, right? or you have a role in, in your section. So my name is Patricia Camarero. Uh, I know some of you, I see familiar faces. And uh, I was asked, and I'm happy to be with you to do that, to, to share with you a little bit of um, good news. Good news because we are gonna talk about uh, the three things mainly in this webinar. First of all, a general overview of a project that I'm very happy that, to be participating for the last couple of years, and that we're ready to to take the next to the next level. That is the Renew Christie Formation Pathway. Um, I will call it uh, revamp and refocus, and I'm going to explain a little bit about that. Second, we are going to talk about a six year plan for conventions convention plan that we are have in place. And finally, the RC for Mayor's webinar series, a four-year plan that we are going to present and we're going to launch in the next fall, 2024. So coming up very soon. So first of all, um, I was thinking how to start this webinar and what was the main idea that I want to, to share with you. And uh, the idea came with the, the fact of a camera, a camera that um, I'm just trying to learn how to use. And I found in the sacristan of my house, I found it in a little shelf and I said, hey, that's a good thing to, to learn to, for events and stuff like that. Well, cameras like these have like, you know, different additions. And one of them is the lenses. So what we are going to talk about regarding the RC formation plan is um, not something new at all, but something that is uh, approached with a fresh approach, refreshing through the lens of the renewal. So it's kind of when you take the camera and then you kind of move it like this, take out one of the pieces, and then you are taking the picture and then you say, you know what, let's just try to make a better focus and take a better picture. So you kind of refresh the view and see the same reality with fresh eyes. What lens are we using? The lens of the renewal. So with that image, what I want to share with you first in this first part is um, how we have been unfolding our charism in time. And that has allowed us to put a little bit more focus on this topic of formation, RC formation of RC members, of the lay members of Renew Christi, of all of you. So that's what we are gonna talk about first, the RC formation um, pathway project that now is turning into a reality. 
I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but just in case, just in case we thought uh, Donna, Garrett, Maria, Kenneth and myself to give a little simple overview. At the end, we're gonna have some QA in case things are not very clear. Please feel free to write it down and then at the end we can try to take some uh, questions, okay? So the RC Formation Pathway Project is the first part of this webinar. The second part will be the convention plan and the third part is the RC Formators webinar series that we're gonna start in fall 2024. Before entering into this first part, I want to say a little bit more about myself briefly. I'm a consecrated woman of Rain and Christi. I've been consecrated for about 39 years, coming to 40 very soon within next year. So pray for me. I'm being uh, blessed to be very involved in formation in different sections all over the world. And in the States, I've been here for the last almost 20 years. Uh, both forming consecrated women and lay people. So because of that and my personal background, I've been invited to form part of this project, of this team that is dedicated for the formation of formators and formation of RC lay people, our people, okay? Lay apostles of Raymond Christie. Okay, so with that said, I jumped because I want to connect with you, right? So the RC Formation Pathway uh, project, um, what is uh, has aimed to do in the last year is not to restart from scratch, but take what was being done for many years, and especially in the US, uh, if you recall the formation pathway um, presented mainly by Father Bartunic, uh, that gave us a very beautiful overview of Christian Catholic formation with the four areas, etc. So what we did is take that and try to take our camera, move the lens and try to see it through the lens of the renewal. And that's what we have been developing, a framework for your formation. So we're gonna cover simply like briefly, some points to, to talk about this formation pathway project um, in case some of you don't have a, a, an idea of what is it about. What is formation pathway, Reino Christi formation pathway? It's, it's a journey, first of all. It's a journey and a process of formation. It's nothing static, it's something very dynamic is is kind of going into the the woods, right? <laughs> going in an outing and finding new adventures, new challenges, new realities. But it's, it's a pathway that is common to us all because we are all Reino Christi members. And it's a, a pathway that is progressive, is 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 not static. And it's progressive what? Progressive configuration into Christ, the apostle, the mystery that we are called to, to live. And if we go to the Brain and Christie status, the Federation status, in number 30, I think it says it's much better than I can say it. It says that formation must help us discover the full meaning of our lives in Christ. Be configured to him and fulfill our mission. So formation pathway is nothing else but like a little approach to give us a pathway, a framework where we can work towards or leave or leave Christ to configure us to him. Because as you very well known, very well, uh, to configure ourselves to Christ, our configuration into Christ is not so much our efforts. We have to put our part, but it's mainly to leave the Lord to configure us let him do whatever he wants in our lives, no? Like St. Joseph, <laughs> let it be done according to your word to me in my life. That configuration is actually leaving Christ to do his work, but we have to put our part. Okay, so the formation pathway is, it, it's showing us a journey, a process to, 
to achieve this, this configuration to Christ as RC lay apostles. And it has five premises that I you know very well, but I'm just gonna briefly mention. Permission in Reignum Christi has to be rooted and correspond to our identity and our mission. It's not just general Catholic formation, which is foundational. We are Catholics, we are Christians, we are part of the Catholic Church. So it has to be rooted in the Catholic faith, obviously, but is specifically RC lay apostles. It's specifically for RC members. So it has to somehow match this into our reality as Reino Christi, to our identity. And it's not just for that, it's identity and mission. It's for our vocation and call to evangelization, formation and mission. So first premise. Second premise, this is very important, is based in a very solid Christian anthropology. This is fundamental because the way we, we approach the world, the way we see the world, the vision we have about the human person and the world is fundamental in the way we evangelize. And the way that we see the world, the way we see the human person is based in a solid Christian anthropology and is extremely realistic and positive. We see the human person as a person that is created by God, that has been fall, in the fall, but it has been redeemed by Christ. So there's a very positive, full of hope vision of the human person. That's the second premise. The third premise is that, is that it takes place in and through Reino Christi life. And this is very important in the RC formation pathway that, um, that we have been working on. We really emphasize a lot that it's not only about content. Of course, we need content very much. We need doctrine. We need the book in front of us, right? And I am very much pro uh, not only ebooks, but the real, the real book to take the pen and underline and the, you know, the markers and stuff like that. Content is important. And we have to, to suggest content, we have to create content, we have to really organize content that we already have, and new content that is offered always with the lens of the renewal. But our formation takes place in the life of Reino Christi, in our spiritual life, in our means of formation, the, in our apostolate, in the way we are accompanying. The personal accompaniment form us, teen life form us. So we will include that and you're going to see that very clear as we this formation pathway is implemented. And then formation, as I just mentioned, but it's so important. We want to emphasize that always entails accompaniment. We are not alone. Just recently I was with someone that is part of another group in the church, another organization. And uh, and I was uh, saying, you know, it's so beautiful that we can do this together. I mean, it's a project that we're working together here in Houston where I uh, have my ministry. And uh, they say like, yeah, it's unique because in, in, in the group that I belong, it's very much more like a personal journey. It's each one of us and we grow, but it's personal. And I say, well, yeah, that's huge because for us, it's team. We are together. We work together. We are family. You know, we are always accompaniment. And formation entails accompaniment because everything forms us. And our spiritual director, our confessor, the team leader, the section director, the team member, we help each other in that configuration with Christ. And finally, the RC formation is adapted to the needs of each individual, of each person. And I love, I have here like the draft of the document of the formation, how when it talks about these characteristics of uh, these premises, sorry, of the formation, when it talks about this final one, it says this adaptation considers gender, life stage, age, culture, and one very important, the personal personal faith journey. 
So there's a certain, a certain um, room for to tailor formation to your own needs. And that's beautiful because that's the way the Lord treats us, right? So these are the five premises of the formation pathway. Then I'm just going to list them because this could be a whole a whole convention. The 10 characteristics, just very briefly, is experiential because it comes from the encounter. It's vocational fulfillment involved. It's for the mission. This is very important. Not just content. is to receive and give. It's kind of what, I don't know if you you were a fan of Mother Angelica, but one of the parts that I love of Mother Angelica is when she was talking to her her sisters, right? And uh, with a lot of like movements and she used to tell them, we receive to give. <laughs> no, no, no permission <laughs> to just receive it. <laughs> we receive to give. So formation is for the mission. It's motivating and uh, by love and played out in life is integrating and integral is gradual, is gradual, is goes gradual and is somehow like um, they said uh, for music, in crescendo, it, it goes to more, little by little, but uh, at the rhythm of the person is dynamic and flexible. It's always accompaniment, accompanied. It interplays between the individual and the community, the community of apostles that we belong to and is transformative and therefore transformative for others is fruitful. So those are the characteristics. Each one of them will require, as I say, a whole webinar. We will have those in the future. Uh, finally, this formation pathway is based on an approach that is called by competences. What does that mean? Uh, the idea is that we think of a way that we can present the formation to all our members in which that content is accompanied with experiences. So it's formation received in the mind that has to touch the heart, that has to create some sort of attitudes in order to lift them. So in order to do that, we were inspired with the competences styles in which we, we can give knowledge to the mind. We promote experiences that touches the heart and create some attitudes. We train people with some skills and we configure a lifestyle behaviors. So again, this could be a whole other explanation, but it's important just to put it here so that we, we understand that what we are going to talk more specifically in this, is this webinar that has to be with the convention plans and the um, the launching of these four-year formators webinars, uh, like a series of webinars, uh, have, have a contest, right? So agents of formation in Rain and Christie will know them by heart. And when we put this together, I remember when, while we were in the work sessions, we were like, very in choose, right? And obviously the immediate one that comes, who are the agents, agents of formation? Formators, right? Formators. Well, good and bad news. You are not number one. <laughs> you are number five. <laughs> because the great formators is God. God is the formator. The agent of formation for, per excellence is God and his transforming power and primacy of grace and his grace. And this is important when we all remember in our mission, if you're section director, which I think majority of you are, God is in charge. He's the one, the one that forms us, that configures us to his son, Jesus Christ. And therefore we have to always rely on his power and give grace the primacy. Then the church. Second, the church. The church is a very important agent of formation, the scripture, the tradition, the magisterium, the sources of our faith, right? When I teach ca uh, catechism classes, not to little ones, to adults, and I have been giving some courses on the 
different four parts parts of the catechism. When I started and I said, well, what are the sources of our faith? And everybody like, ah, uh, like, well, scripture, tradition and magisterium. Well, they Form us. If we read the scripture, we follow the tradition of the church, and we we are adhered, we are adhered, our adhesion to the magisterium, they form, they configure us to Christ. Then obviously each individual is responsible of each each of its own formation. It's kind of the the fact that each one has to assume personally the responsibility. And this we have to keep fostering. I'm really, really edified uh, knowing more and more people of Rain and Christie in their own sections, how serious and how committed uh, our members are in their own formation. And we have to keep fostering that. Then Rain and Christie as a spiritual family and as apostolic body is a community of apostles that form us. And finally, the specific role that you have as Rain and Christie formators. Then the RC formation pathway is going to be organized in four, is already organized in four different phases. And each one of the phases have like three resources that, which give us content. Each, well, they have their goals, their characteristics, their content, their different deliverables, like if it's a video, if it's a book, if it's a course, if it's a convention, if it's a webinar, each one of them has them, but all of them, absolutely all of them have experiences involved in order to achieve those goals. In the Brain Christie Initial, which is practically speaking, when someone is considering discerning to join Rain and Christie, the Rain and Christie basics with I, I'm a great promoter to say, we have to always go back to the basics. So maybe when this is presented with all the details, when you see it, they're like, you know what? I need to go to back to the basics. Great, because the formation pathway is very flexible in that sense. Uh, and we have to always refresh that. The core is, is what it said is a core. It has a lot of content. And the RC Horizons is what the name says, like the picture at your right side on the bottom, left bottom, Horizons, open, open to, to many possibilities. And who does this? Well, each one has their own role. The territory has a role. The locality has a role, the section has a role, the team has a role, and the individual has a role. So if one of us have different roles, different responsibilities to implement this, and it will happen little by little. Now, from the territory, what do we want to keep you is mainly two big and important means. A plan for conventions, and a four-year plan of six years plan, a six-year plan for conventions, and a four-year plan for uh, RC formators. And uh, I will present in this webinar the first year, uh, which we already have organized, the six sessions by topics, and you can already register. And for the conventions, I'm going to present the two conventions that are coming up in 2024. But I'm going to tell you, we already have a plan from 2024 to 2030. So this is good. Conventions are back. Uh, but we're going to, I'm going to show you and present to you the oncoming formations in for Rainer Christie section directors and then for Rainer Christie formators, especially. Um, what is it, uh, team leaders, but also formators of the section of like, if you have the fire as a model uh, in February, 2025. So before going there, maybe it's a good moment because I know that I have just talk, talk, talk to give you a space uh, to all of you. I think I have the, the possibility to give you here uh, an open forum for questions, correct? So if you have questions, let me see if we can um, open here. 
and well, I don't know if I have to do this. Dara, you know how to do it? Are you there? Yes, what would you like to do? If they have questions, maybe it's a good uh, moment to... There's nothing in the chat as yet, but um, feel okay. free to oh, put Carlos, up your hand or ask Carlos a question. Carlos like Pais uh, has opened... Uh, yes, she just needs to unmute. Is it for me? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Hi, Pati. Yes, um, I'm here. The uh, comment I have, and it's kind of, it's kind of a common question. Uh, I think in the past, uh, we have seen and we have mentioned that formation is, is responsibility, is a responsibility for each of the members. And I agree that unless they are committed, they will not get formed. Mm -hmm. But part of our charism, what we commit to when anyone associates to Raymond Christie, is to form them as apostles and Christian leaders, because we're trying to imitate that mystery of Christ that goes mm -hmm. out and reveals himself and all those things that we have in our number eight of the statues, which essentially yeah. we are taking a, com a commitment to form those people so that they can be apostles and they can be sent and obviously gather more people and, and we continue to expand the kingdom as, as we multiply those efforts. So in, in what respect this new program is going to allow us to take more a, a more leading role informing our members so that they can become more effective apostles. And clearly, obviously, there has to be the commitment from everyone. But mm -hmm. uh, is, is this going to allow us to really be more proactive in, in, in what we claim that we want to do, which is form apostles by helping them us to take the tools or to get the needed tools so that they can become more effective? Carlos, thank you for your question. Um, yes. The answer is yes, and the how is multiple ways. We're going to, uh, within this next year, you're going to have like a formation pathway tab in the Rain and Christie website in which you will be able to connect their tab there. And there's going to be like by different stages, content, possibilities of deliver all like a webinar, a class, you can register uh, a book that you can use for the formation in your, in your section. So how does this gonna happen? We're gonna give you the framework. We're gonna give you the stages. We're gonna give you the content that you have to cover. You're gonna give you the possible resources, not all of them, but possibility of resources, some created by us, others referential, because obviously the resources, very, very good resources in, in available. Like we're not gonna rewrite the catechism, obviously, for example, but we're gonna give up this resource and you can go there. Now in the section level is when things happen. The section level is where you are responsible to make this happen according to the needs of your section. So we're going to have these conventions. One of the objectives is to work together. I'll say, like, how do I take this that looks nice or uh, it appeals to me more or less, hopefully a lot. <laughs> how do I bring this to my, my section and how do I leave it? So there's where the commitment comes, Carlo. And not only the commitment, that's when the, I would say that the, the, the amazing things will happen. And the incredible thing that we would want to see is how every single thing that we inspire us is we, we are called to do something. We're going to configure ourselves to, into Christ as Raymond Christie, lay, lay apostles, nothing else. So every single part of the formation has that aim. Then specifically, in depending on the phase in which your members are and you yourself are, you have to take this or that means of formation. Now, as I've mentioned at the beginning, the, the ages of formation are at least the ones we, we listed, obviously they could be more, are these five. So there's an interplay between all the elements of formation between my individual commitment 
and the commitment of my community of apostles where I belong that is, 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 is clear in the section or team in which I, 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 I form part to, I belong to. So the answer is a yes, the how and the, uh, the modalities are very are varied. And uh, what we're gonna provide is means, tools, and also inspiration and a concrete platform where you can uh, always refer to and use the, the resources that we're gonna put there. But a lot of formation happen a lot is in the life, in the Rainer Christie life, within the five elements of the, the life in Rainer Christie. Patricia, there's yeah, a question here from uh, Judy. It just says, how will this roll out to the men? To men? Yes. The same. The same with the adaptation, because it's one of the characteristics, uh, characteristics of this formation pathway depending on the gender, the age, the personal journey, faith journey, but is the, the same the same framework with a little bit different flavor because we are different. <laughs> but it's the same. There's no more questions in the chat unless somebody wants to raise their hand or just ask a question they can unmute. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's continue. Okay. So we're going to continue now talking about more specifically the six year convention plan. Six year convention plan. This is very exciting news as well. And we're going to just make a little bit of framework here. For many years, we have not had like our national conventions as we used to. And we all know this. I mean, I've been in the movement 40, 43 years because I joined the movement and then I received the call to consecrate life. And when, if I recall something of my life in the section before getting consecrated were the conventions. Conventions are so powerful. When we gather, things happen. Just recently, I went to the territorial convention of Raymond Christie, and it's just, I don't know, it, you just arrive and things happen, right? So we are very happy to, to, to share with you that we, we established this uh, proposal of six-year convention, which started uh, somehow unofficially with the convention of men that they just have in Ohio, but now, uh, we're going to have the first convention, national convention for women. Um, do you, I hope you can see here my screen well. Okay, national convention for women. The registrations are open, sent for. That's what we are calling this convention because we're sent for the mission, right? Registration is already for, uh, uh, um, open. It's for forming, launching, and a company lay Rainu Christi Apostles. That's where is the topic that we are sent for. Uh, the Rainu Christi uh, for section directors convention is going to be in November, November 2024, from the 1st to the 3rd November in, in a place that many of you know and like very much <laughs> in Mandalay, Chicago, at the University of St. Mary of the Lake. Uh, the theme I already said it is sent forth forming a company and launching our formators. The audience is Rain and Christie section directors, section formation coordinators, the RC chaplains, and the CRC formators of RC sections for all adult and young adult Rain and Christie sections. So this is very interesting, and and we think that it's going to work very nicely. We're going to put together adults and young adults. And with the hope of this mutual enrichment uh, of, uh, of experiences, approaches, uh, there are going to be sessions just separated, but we think that this is going to be a very good experience. 
uh, and this this convention will be mainly a place uh, to network, network with the RC leaders all across the territory to work together, uh, to, to create this that is very much for us, uh, I will say like a particular call to create communion and collaboration among us. It's also a way to develop how to form, how to accompany and how to launch the RC lay apostles in the mission of evangelization of people and society. So is, is there, it will be involved like uh, we're going to deepen and present more the, the, the layers of this formation pathway. That's why I included at the beginning of this presentation. But as I said, is formation for the mission. Sent for. Let's go and evangelize. Continue evangelize. The registration link, as you know, and Donna already shared with you, is, is up and running. <laughs> you can already register in RC activities, their link is here, but as I said, uh, I already said it, I already registered, so let's all register. This is especially for section directors, but not solely, as you can see, there's the audience there. So let's do it. <laughs> We're sent for, sent for for the mission. So that's the first one. And the second convention that we are having in 2024, for uh, this in this occasion is more for team leaders, but also team leaders and group leaders and any other formator, RC formator, that is supporting the RC teams. And again, it's for adults and it's for young adults. This is open for Rain and Christie team leader formation. That's what it is. The, the dates are February, 2025. Uh, we start the day of St. Valentine's, <laughs> February 14 to 16. And this is going to be in North Carolina. So the location is Lake Unalowski Conference and Richard Center. And the, the good news of this one is that it's, it's huge. So we can invite as many people as we want. <laughs> Madeleine has some more, as you know, the, the numbers are always like limited. So... This is good. It's also the same topic, but different audience. And it's, it's an opportunity for the same that we mentioned in the first convention, the National Convention for Section Directors. Also, the registration is open. It's open. So more than anything else, I just want to say that this is an opportunity that we know that it takes it takes a lot to get organized, whatever, but here in those, those moments, great things happen. Things happen when we're together. So I want to encourage you. And this is just part of a, a, a plan of six years. There's also other, other conventions I heard about, Rain and Christie Convention for Men, probably happening again in Ohio. So there's gonna be a list. I just, just by, uh, for fun, because the document is 10, 10 pages long because there are six years formation. So I said, I'm gonna, they're gonna just start leaving the webinar if I present 10 pages of webinar of conventions. But audiences, we have conventions for RC men, for EasyWD formators, for EasyWD middle school boys, for RC college students, for high school girls, for high school boys, for young women, uh, young men, uh, formators for RC section directors, chaplains, etc. The ones we just presented for Easy Way Directors Summit and for men's conventions and RC team leaders. So we have for everybody. <laughs> but these ones that I want to just encourage you and your your sections are the oncoming national convention for section directors in November and for team leaders and all the audience that you can read there in February. Okay, so there's this is part of the six year plan. Okay, stop for one moment. I don't think there's questions, but is there any question for the conventions? Nope. Dara, you have the power there to see. No, there's nothing in the chat yet. 
Oh, good. If something comes, feel free to just write it. And Dara, at the end of this last part, we'll, we'll report. <laughs> mm. Okay, finally, this one, I love this part. It's the Renu Christie Formators webinar series. Four-year plan, a four-year plan of formator for you. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm not making this up. I'm very enthused. <laughs> if you know me, you know that it's real. Okay, anyhow. Four years plan. So let me take this because if not, you cannot see. Um, let's go back here. Okay. So this plan uh, ha is four year plan. So the first year is going to be a year that will be launched in 2024, 2025. And we call it a possibility of the kingdom, a space for the mission. It's understanding the human person and the Reign of Christi style of evangelization. Those are the two goals that we are trying to achieve the first year. So it's human anthropology, understanding the human person. And then how do we evangelize this person that we see with the eyes that God sees, with the vision, Christian vision of the human person. So understanding it, and then evangelizing. So for us, it's this possibility of kingdom, because when we see the, the people as God sees them, and we unite with the heart of Christ, we want to evangelize. We have to, we want to bring the good news. So uh, the audience of this, of this um, particular, let me see how to do it. Okay. The audience of this year uh, webinar is RC formators, Therefore, Rain and Christi section directors, chaplains, the CRCs, consecrated women, Rain and Christi that are working in the section, the team leaders, the spiritual direction, the group leaders, the fire, or similar leadership coordination, work teams, directors of apostolate, the ACYD formators is for Rain and Christi men, Rain and Christi women, for young men, for young women, and ACYD sections. In North America. So someone will say, who is not going? <laughs> the rest of the members. <laughs> Everything, everyone that has a formator's role is invited. Okay. Then uh, what is the goal that we are gonna try to achieve? Well, to introduce first the basics of the human and Christian anthropology, which is one of the characteristics of our formation pathway, the one of the premises to understand the human person. Exploring the human person is uh, from a theological and from a philosophical perspective and to introduce the foundations as well um, for the evangelization, the evangelizing work that we do, that, that flow directly from our charism and, and that is very specific, must specifically introduced and interiorized uh, the principles of apostolic action. So we're gonna really try to, to do that, interiorize the principles of apostolic action that I prefer to just call our style of evangelization. We do evangelization in a particular way. I have lived in seven different countries in I don't know how many cities, and we have our flavor. <laughs> and that's beautiful. And that's what the church needs from us. So we're going to explore that, um, talking about uh, the principles of apostolic action. And it's very, very beautiful because we don't want just to explain them. We, we want to create spaces in which we can interiorize, which is, uh, for me, the, the passing from the mind to the heart. And from the heart, learn some skills and then leave it. Remember those like heart, sorry, mind, heart, skills, and life. Okay, so it's kind of the formation pathway in action. <laughs> okay, so that's for the, the the objectives and the content. And then what is going to be a, the structure that we want to propose to you in the webinars? Well, each year will consist in six virtual ses sessions. There were going to be three per semester. Then in each session, we're going to have like a uh, one hour and a half session corresponding to the application exercise to be used 
in, in the peer coaching groups or in section formators meetings, depends on what you, you follow. Then we're gonna give a guide for a one-on-one -on -one dialogue to follow up on to assimilate the simulation and the practical also exercise, the experience to assist each person in implementing and assimilating the theme that is presented. And then uh, this can be used as the discussion questions. So for each team leader, uh, especially when they have formation meetings or for your leadership and or your work team or your fire team meetings, and also as outlines for your one-on-one -on -one dialogues. So simply a structure is three per semester, six in total during the year. In each session, it's like a presentation and then it means to apply it in the different possible scenarios, coaching, team, uh, peer coaching or dialogue, whatever it is. And then also give you a tool that you can bring from this webinar to your section, to your particular meetings or any opportunity of dialogue that you have with, with the members. So that's the scheme of the structure of this, these seminars. Then the first year, the seminars here, you have the dates. The dates are, are gonna take place, the time, the topic. So these are the topics uh, that correspond to human anthropology, which is the part that I'm gonna facilitate. So you have it there. There's simultaneously the topics that have to be with the evangelization piece, the style of evangelization of what we try to do. And I think uh, at least in paper, they look great. <laughs> the, the actual content of the human anthropology has its correspondence in the, in the topic that is more evangelizing, evangelization. Like just to give you an example, if we talk about the, the that were wounded by sin, then uh, what are the principles, uh, sorry, if we talk about that we are redeemed persons, we are redeemed, we have been redeemed. Well, Reino Christi, you need evangelization style have to correspond to the precious person that I have in front that is being redeemed by Christ. So it has to be a, a way that is per person to person respecting the, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna give the, the seminar now. But I have a question, Patricia. Yes. The question is, these sessions are in addition to team, la team leader training in the section? These are the sessions that are going to be offered as webinars um, to all the territory. OK, I guess the question is, if they also already have team leader formation from their section, is it going to Substitute or is it an extra? I guess we have to see that with the section director uh, and then. Yes, yes, because this is kind of the formator's formation. And then in the section, you can have your team leader formation that could be up more specific to the needs of your section. So this is like, yeah, like this is for everybody. And then if your section, like here, I work in two sections in Houston, right? So in one of the sections, if there's particular need uh, with the team leaders to fund them, I don't know, in the team dialogue or to help them to develop their, um, their pro specific program of formation for their team, then that will be the formation for, for the team leaders. But everybody, as formators in the whole territory is receiving this common formation. So Judy, it, does that answer you? You can unmute yourself if you have a further question, Judy. Yes, please do. Okay, it's fine. It's fine? Okay. Yes, thank you, Judy. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. So how does this gonna this gonna work? Because maybe you have this question. 
<laughs> it's not that it's gonna cost. The only thing that is gonna cost is the materials that are gonna be offered as workbooks. So there's two workbooks and once you register to the link that is beyond here below, uh, you can purchase the book that will guide you all through the year. So the good news is that you will receive the webinar, you're gonna see the session, but then you have a workbook that contains the content that then you can, will help you to bring it to your, to the other level, no? to the members. But the hope is that after the webinar, you it's yours and then you can deliver it. So we create a little chain here of formation. Forming formators, we form the rest. So that's what we want to do. So maybe it's clear if we see it in this little promo that we put together. Here is you have all the content. Uh, as I said, the, the goal to introduce what we already said, we have the audience, we have the two presenters, which uh, is Maria Canud and myself. Then in each session, if you can see here, uh, I just said the anthropology piece, but there's also the topics to cover include the, the evangelization piece. So Christ the apostle, like for example, the first one, right? Uh, what does it mean to be human, a human person? Then the theological dimension, and then Christ the apostle leader, and the style of, of um, leadership. So, each one of the session has both and it contains everything, the day, the time, the cost and the content. And good news, you can already register here. <laughs> You're gonna- There's two uh, questions, Patricia. Uh -huh. One says, will the webinars be recorded in case we can't watch them live? I believe yes. I, should, I think I should. <laughs> I don't have the final word, but I, I, my I will say yes. Uh, that's from Linda. Thank you, Linda. And then Cindy yeah. asks this question, is it a necessity to purchase the workbook? I would say it is a big tool and aim. And the book is probably going to cost $10 or something like that, I guess, more or less. I would highly recommend it. That's my answer. <laughs> and I tell you, you why. No, and let me explain to you why. I, at least the one that uh, from anthropology, because it has the content. It has a space for notes. It has the workshops with links and everything. So it's a very um, practical means and tools for your own formation and to form others. So I will recommend it. I don't know if it's mandatory, but it's highly recommended. <laughs> Someone's saying here that there's a cost I think they looked it up and there's like $35 or something. You see it? Oh. I, oh. Plus shipping or something like that. So that's. Uh, uh, because there are two books. Maybe that's why, yeah. There are two books. So. Thank you. I thought it was a little bit less, but I guess they already did the estimate. Well, the book, at least the anthropology book is like a hundred pages. So it makes sense that it's a little bit more. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. No That's more questions right now. No more questions. Well, so I think we're done because the last the last slide was QA, <laughs> but I thought it was better to put the, the QA as we speak so we can address. There were three topics, general uh, um, overview of the Rainy Christie Formation Pathway. The second, the six-year convention plan, specifically the convention plan for 2024, 2025 for the national conventions. And thirdly, this launching of Rainy Christie Formators webinar series for year plan, the first year you have it in front of you. So I just want to really thank you. Thank you all for for this opportunity to be together, to talk to you, you all. Uh, I don't see you all. I hope I could figure out how to view. Probably here we can see a little bit more people. 
<laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for all the dedication you, you put in what you do. We are together in this, and I think this is the most beautiful and exciting mission that we have is to form others and to bring others to Christ. So I appreciate the, your time. I'm available um, whatever you I can do for you. There's and, another question. Oh, there's there you go. Yes. Uh, uh, Ginger is asking what materials will be available for purchase at the November convention. For the uh, for the convention itself. I, I guess at the convention. At the convention. As many materials that we have ready, they will be there. <laughs> <laughs> we talk with yeah, really. We talk with Kerry Rivard. And we're coordinating this with Carrie Rivard. You, I'm sure majority of you know her, which coordinate all the publishing and stuff like that. And we already request to bring bulk of everything <laughs> so that you can bring your own like extra suitcase for your sections. So <laughs> we'd request that. Yeah. And then there's a thank you. Helpful to hear and see the vision. A thank you. And uh, I'm very, very excited to work with you in the following year and so, or so, as much as God wants us to be together. But thank you for the dedication. I, I want to emphasize that again. And well, we can implore the blessing of our Lord. We have not a priest here, but we can ask Saint Joseph, right? The good, the good father of Jesus. We, I have to share something very beautiful uh, here in my house in Houston. Um, there's a, a, a man that helped us and he gave us a beautiful statue of St. Joseph. So I promise you going to go after this moment together and pray for each one of you. So thank you. Thank you for your presence. And let's give thanks together. Okay. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks for all your gifts. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. <laughs> you take care. God bless you. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.